I've not seen such bravery. I am a Zoom beanie. Be not afraid of my blue skin or my incredible taste in fashionable eyewear. I come to you in peace, seeking help for my people. Please listen as I tell you our story. Long ago, we Zoom beanies lived on Zoom Beanie Isle, which I guess in retrospect wasn't the best name for an island. It's kind of like if you named your country Humanville. Anyway, we Zoom beanies lived in peace and harmony, working together to make useful products that we then exported to faraway lands. But then, the bloats arrived, and they're, uh... Bloat boats, I guess. The bloats bragged that their bloat boats could better our business by broadening the number of boxes we shipped. Being trusting beings, we bit the bait and became business buddies. But unbeknownst to us, the bloats' business broadening bloat boats were bull because bad behavior began. The bloats took over everything, stole profit from us, canceled our holidays, and piled on work for me and my blueberry brethren. And now, We've had enough. We're ready to escape. Now I know that taking business advice from strangers in boats isn't the smartest thing to do, but I hope you can overlook that and help us anyway. To escape to a new land and find a new home, we need your help. Or whatever. And that's the story to The Logical Journey of the Zoom Beanies, one of the games that you guys have most requested that I do a video on over the years, and for good reason. I didn't grow up playing the Zoom Beanie games, in fact it's taking all the willpower I have not to call them the Zambonis every time I read their name. Uh, it's a shame though, because young Ian would have been all over this game back in the day. It's freaking good. The Zumbinis aren't here to teach you about spelling, math, or history. As the title of the game implies, logic is what's being tested here, and each level is constructed around sharpening your problem-solving skills. But before you can get to the puzzles, you have to first assemble your Zumbini team. Each Zumbini can be lovingly handcrafted by you in a very Mr. Potato Headly fashion. I'm currently sporting the ponytail, pervert glasses, red nose look. You can also randomize their appearance, and although it may seem like an unimportant factor of the game, that couldn't be further from the truth. We'll get to that a bit later, though. After you lead your first team of 16 Zoom Beanies on a sailing trip away from the evil bloats on Zoom Beanie Isle, they scale a cliff and arrive at their first terrifying obstacle. Two bridges. Okay, so technically the bridge isn't the obstacle in this challenge, it's Olmec's cousins here on the side of the cliff. Some Zoom Beanies are allowed to cross a bridge while others are sneezed away. <gasps> to make it across the gap, you first have to figure out the rules in which the faces discriminate. It turns out that the top bridge was only accepting Zoom Beanies sporting the stylish ponytail hairdo. I mean, not that I blame him, while the rest can safely cross the bridge beneath it. Whoa, my, you've done exceptionally well. Even though at times he sounds like he's about to tell me to do the Mario's, I really like the narrator of this game. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow, the other guard surely will. Between levels, the narrator gives you hints on the logic puzzle you're about to face, little clues meant to give you a bit of direction before you tackle the challenge, and they're the only clues you get, so you better pay attention. I mean, you could click on the help button for more guidance, I guess, but I feel like that really defeats the purpose of the logic puzzle angle of Zoom Beanies, robs you of the aha moment that puzzle games have gotten me so addicted to, and you're basically having to admit that you're too stupid to do it on your own, even though the box says age is 9 it up. A lot of the puzzles involve sorting the Zoom Beanies by appearance. Talking boulders segregate the Zoom Beanies based on their looks. Green alien carrots, I guess that's what these guys are, chase after Zoom Beanies that look a certain way. And the Zoom Beanies are divided up by appearance into a hollowed out tree motel as well. This is why creating our team was so relevant. I suppose you could stack the deck by creating Zoom Beanies that you know would be easy to work with, though I don't really see the point in doing that unless it becomes a more useful strategy later in the game. Some puzzles, however, have nothing to do with what the Zoom Beanie looks like. Take, for instance, one of the more memorable puzzles in the game. Huh. Whatever you are. 
Make me a pizza! So this dude wants a pizza, and I can relate to that. I feel like most moments of most days, I also want a pizza. What I can't relate to, though, is living next to a giant pizza machine. This hungry tree stump is referred to as a pizza troll, and anyone familiar with the ancient text of the trolls knows that you have to pay the troll toll to get into this boy's soul. The toll in this case being a pizza. <laughs> The goal of this puzzle is to figure out what kind of pizza the shouting tree man wants to eat. The difficulty here being that he refuses to communicate any specifics. Something on that I don't like! Whoever did the voice for this guy freaking nailed it. Every time he rejects one of my lovingly constructed pizza pies, he does it in such an annoying way, but... Come on! more stuff. I don't know, it's just so believable, man. This dude is on a quest for his perfect pizza, and I'm more than happy to help him find it. <laughs> hip hip Zumbini! Hip hip Zumbini! Now I'm not out to spoil and explain every puzzle in this game, I'm assuming that some people will want to go out and play themselves after this, but allow me to tell you a bit more about my Zumbini's logical journey. After delivering the best pizza ever made, I led the Zumbinis to a boat which they then boarded in a very logical way. Next up, they have to ride frogs across lily pads in a very logical way. Although I did pick up on the movement patterns of the frogs eventually, my initial plan of just throwing them on random lily pads and seeing how they would behave ended up creating a bit of a problem. Eight of the Zoom beanies ended up stranded on the lily pads with no way to save them. Their frogs just keep going back and forth. My only option is to leave them behind and take the rest of my team on to the next puzzle, which is perhaps my favorite thing about logical journey of the Zumbinis. Leaving the Zumbinis behind isn't fun. I mean, they're stuck in some type of frog purgatory right now, just going back and forth without ever reaching their destination. I'm sure they're gonna starve to death, or maybe the frogs will turn on them and eat them when they get hungry. Okay, maybe leaving them behind is a little fun, but my original point was that I like how the Zumbinis themselves act as lives or attempts at puzzles. The puzzles allow you a number of mistakes to make without consequence, but if you mess up enough times, you'll start losing members of your team. Although at first it seemed like I could easily bring all 16 Zoom Beanies through on my first attempt, I lost half of them on one puzzle. This in turn affects how future puzzles are played. Sometimes having less Zoom Beanies makes the puzzle easier. Sometimes it makes the puzzles more difficult. Sometimes when we touch, the honesty is too much. Then there are checkpoints, these campsites that have little cubby holes on them. Some of these checkpoints require a certain number of Zoom Beanies to continue forward. Since we only have eight here at the moment, they need to snooze at the campsite while we go back and get some more Zoom Beanies to join them. So let's go all the way back to Zoom Beanie Isle and save a whole new wave of blueberry people, navigating through the puzzling challenges once again as they make their way to the campsite. Of course, the solutions to these puzzles change each time you come across them, so even if you know how a certain puzzle works, you're still gonna have to do some problem solving to figure out the answer. Finally, after solving a puzzle, solving a puzzle, and... Okay, well, this one got the better of me, but I was able to get some of my team through. I was finally able to lead some Zumbinis to their new home. Could this be the place they'd been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? Zumbini! Yes! Hip hip Zumbi! Zumbini! We won! Or did we? Of course not, you Zoom bonehead. Our goal isn't to make it to Zoom Beanieville with four Zoom Beanies. We're trying to save an entire species here. So it's back to the beginning once more to assemble yet another team to flee Zoom Beanie Isle. And before you ask if the puzzles become repetitive after a while, check this out. On top of some branching pathways that take you through different puzzles on your way to Zoom Beanieville, the more Zoom Beanies that make it through the puzzle gauntlet, the harder the puzzles become. Come. Each puzzle has different levels of difficulties. For instance, the pizza puzzle eventually has three different pizza trolls who are being picky about both pizza and ice cream. And as more and more Zumbinis arrive at Zumbiniville, the village begins to grow, giving you more incentive to keep playing. I mean, you do want the Zumbinis to be thriving in their new home, don't you? You want to rescue all of those poor, overworked Zumbini souls, right? 
Well, to do that, you'll have to play Logical Journey of the Zoom Beanie. Now I'll admit, I'm the kind of person that when a large group of people are relentlessly telling me to do something, I kind of instinctively want to hate whatever that thing is, regardless of if it's good or not. Uh, it's not the best personality trait, admittedly. There was definitely a part of me, though, that wanted this game to be garbagey enough for me to rip to shreds, but it turned out to be really, really good. This was a game I would have gone crazy for when I was younger. If you're like me and you enjoy logic puzzles, Logical Journey of the Zoom Beanies is a game worth looking into. And now that I mention it, in 2015, a remastered version was released, titled simply Zoom Beanies. As much as I enjoy the original game's graphics, I gotta admit, Zoom Beanies look pretty sharp with a fresh coat of paint. The game looks great, and even though I haven't tried it out yet myself, I'll probably be picking it up. A big thank you to everyone who told me to check out this game. I know it took me a little while to get around to it, but it's a lot of fun. It lived up to the hype. But now though, it's time to say goodbye. As you can tell, I blew myself for this video, and to be honest, I feel a little bit like the paint is slowly absorbing into my skin. I also put some purple hair gel in and my hair is cemented in place. I'm hoping that that washes out. Uh, but thank you for watching. I will see you next time, and I hope I'm not blue in the next video.